Okay, I'm going to pick up where I left off and I was speaking about the support group meeting. Just to recap, you have to attend two support group meetings, one in person, one online. Please read over these points to consider. Your post needs to be brief, but it needs to reflect the fact that you went. So do not write, meeting was good, several people in meeting, I enjoyed it. That is not reflective of, of uh, you actually being there and, and um, taking in the information or the experience. Um, and again, just as a, a last point to cons or one more, just to highlight one more of these points to consider, please don't lie if someone asks why you're there or if you want to introduce yourself, um, just say that you're there to learn more about 12-step meetings and the experience. Um, and that's all you need to say. Uh, you are, I know that this is going to be uncomfortable for you, um, but this is a, a, a really important assignment. Um, and I think it's really important that you, you experience this um, in a way that is respectful and not intrusive. And, and these are open meetings, so you know anyone can go. Um, anyway, moving on. So abstinence project. All right, <laughs> this is where most students don't particularly care for me after about a week or two of this project um, because of, of, of some possible withdrawal symptoms. And, and you'll, you'll see what I, I mean in just a minute. But you are going to give something up for six weeks and that's gonna start really soon. And what you, so what I want you to do over this next sort of week and a half is I want you to consider something that you can give up that will cause a bit of discomfort, but, um, you know, and, and, and give you the experience of giving something up as your clients will who are, you know, attempting recovery, who are going to attempt to give up drinking, who are going to attempt to give up heroin or opiates or smoking marijuana or methamphetamine or whatever their drug of choice may be, you are going to give something up and, and have somewhat of that experience. Uh, of course, it's not going to be the same, um, but it, it, the, the hope is that you get a feel for what this is like. And so you're gonna write about your experience each week of this six week project. So you will have six journal entries. Um, all the, the, I want you to compile all six of them and you're gonna turn all six of them in at one time. So don't turn in six each week. You're just gonna write one for each week of this project. Um, and again, you're, you're gonna give something up and you're gonna write about the ease of giving it up, uh, the difficulty in maintaining that abstinence over the course of this six weeks, any internal external triggers that may surface. And what I mean by that is how do you feel? How do others around you feel? Do others around you make you want to go back to whatever it is that you gave up? Any potential effects on yourself or interpersonal relationships? If you gave up caffeine, are you more moody to, let's say, your partner or your friends or your workmates? whatever it may be, um, does that go away? Does it get worse? Those are things that I want you to write about. Any unintended or unforeseen effects of maintaining this, uh, of abstinence. And if you're unable to maintain abstinence, why? What happened? What type of support or different approach would have been helpful? And then of course, did you jump back into it and try again? Let's say after two weeks of not having caffeine, uh, you caved and you, you know, went back for a coffee and, and, you know, Starbucks was calling your name again. Um, the expectation is that you figure out over the course of this week's, the course of these six weeks, how to maintain abstinence. Or did you not go back, complete abstinence and maybe do, um, moderation? Maybe instead of a coffee from Starbucks every single day, you only had a coffee once a week. Um, some examples of things that students have given up have been caffeine, cigarettes, vaping, uh, Facebook, or any sort of social media, um, Netflix binging, some folks have given up that, ice cream, sugar in general. Um, some people have given up alcohol, some people have given up smoking marijuana, some people have given up um, red meat. Um, uh, Shopping. Some people have given up shopping. There's a lot of things that you can give up that will cause a bit of discomfort for you, and that might give you a little bitty taste of the experience that some of your clients may go through. 
Um, you are expected to really actively engage in this project for six weeks. Um, and, and um, you know, I'm curious to see, uh, I, I really enjoy reading these journal articles. On that note, no one will read these journal articles but me. So no one will, no one in this course will know what you gave up except for me. Um, and of course, I will read that with respect and with um, your confidentiality in mind. And, and no one will ever know what you gave up, but but you and I. Um, and so this will this will be an online submission that you do that only I can see. All right. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. But essentially, you're giving something up for six weeks, and you're going to write about it every week. And then at the end of those six weeks, I think it's on week seven, you will turn in your journal and you'll receive your ten points. All right. You are going to write a paper on an alternative approach to treatment. This is worth 20 points. And what I mean by an alternative approach to treatment is um, treatment approaches that are outside of what is traditionally done right now. So right now, and you'll learn as we go, right now, um, you know, we do this traditional AA 12-step, some psychotherapy, some medication, uh, inpatient, outpatient, approach. We utilize a lot of CBT when uh, when we um, approach addictive use disorders. And I want, I want you to research approaches that are different. Just because we currently use it and it is the norm doesn't mean it's the only way. And it doesn't necessarily know, doesn't necessarily mean that it's the most accurate or appropriate or culturally responsive approach, as you guys will see as we read this textbook and as we learn a lot more about addictive use disorder, uh, addictive use disorders, not articles. Um, so you're going to write a two to three page review that summarizes this alternative approach. Please do not make this paper more than three pages. Uh, and again, it needs to be alternative. Narconon, um, ayahuasca, and and so. Uh, Narconon is the um, Scientology approach to addictive use disorders. Ayahuasca is a, um, a indigenous plant herb. Uh, I don't want to tell you too much about it because I really hope someone use, does a project on this. Um, it's very fascinating. Very fascinating. Some other approaches um, might be microdosing, um, crystals, the use of crystals. Uh, so you do your own research, but um, I am I'm more than happy to review your approach before you write on it, just to make sure that it is not a traditional approach. Um, here's some guidelines for you in writing that paper. Please follow them closely. Um, use these following headings. Alternative approach to addiction treatment. Application of, and you're going to insert the application of that, that approach, or the, the name of that approach. So application of ayahuasca. Population and or demographics served, and any diversity and multicultural issues, concerns, or considerations. There will always be some sort of diversity, multicultural uh, competency issue, concern, consideration. Um, it, it, so um, that should be, everyone will have something for that section. And then, of course, your reference pages your reference page. Um, and then you're gonna have a final exam and that's worth 60 points. Um, and so that's all the assignments that you will have here. Your final exam is going to be an online quiz and it's gonna cover every single chapter from your, che from your textbook. Um, and of course that will be done during your finals week. Here is the course schedule, the tentative course schedule. Any changes that I make, maybe something happens and we miss school or I have to move something around for some reason, I will upload a new course schedule and I will, of course, send an announcement out that that's uh, a change has been made. Um, uh, the first week, you're going to have module A um, and that uh, I will open that up um you know that that first week of class and then you can see here that your abstinence project begins the second week of of this course so you don't have a whole heck of a lot of time to figure out what you're going to give up and and sort of brace yourself or prepare yourself for what that's going to be like for the next six weeks um 
three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay. So I look looking at this and thinking it wasn't exactly six weeks, but it is. And then your journal, your absence journal is due on like that seventh week of the project. Um, you can see here there's spring break. We don't have any class. I'm not going to post anything. Um, and then j jump back up real quick. The 20th is Martin Luther King holiday. I don't expect any of you to do work on that day. Um, but because we meet online, you do have that week. And so you will have work due the following week. I just don't expect you to work on the 20th um, if you so choose not to, um, because that is in fact a holiday. So please take that um, and, and, and respect that holiday as you see fit. Um, uh, anyway, so going down, your you can see here, here's the week, here's what we're going to talk about, here's the chapter you're going to read, and then here's the modules that you'll complete. Pretty self-explanatory. Your alternative approach paper is due at the end of March. Um, our last week to submit support group meetings, because remember you have two, will be the, I think that's the second to last week of April, and then you'll have one more week of assignments and then it's finals week and that's it uh if you have any questions at all about this please reach out to me do not hesitate to ask if you don't ask and you don't get the answer then you'll you'll really sort of never know and um uh, i can't help you if you don't ask so uh, i'm i'm looking forward to working with all of you this semester this is a really 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 fun class i'm really passionate about this subject um, and those of you that are in the Graduate Certificate in Addiction Counseling program, the GSAC, and hopefully those of you that are in the GSAC are also preparing to apply for the addictions license as well as your LPC. Um, this is just sort of the first step in that process uh, in terms of the coursework that you have to take. And um, I hope that, you know, this is a really, really good experience for you. Um, addictions counseling and the courses and the tests and all that is, is pretty difficult. And so I hope that this is a really good overview for um, the beginning of that type of work for you. All right, thanks.